Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe the electronic structure of the group zero noble gases. You should then be able to explain why group zero elements are unreactive and then describe how the boiling point of group zero elements vary down the group. We've been looking at the periodic table and in the last video, we saw that we can arrange all of the elements into groups with similar chemical properties. Now, one really important group is group zero, which is also called the noble gases, and here they are. The original periodic table produced by Dmitry Mendeleev did not feature group zero. That's because these gases were not fully discovered until after Mendeleev developed his table. Here's the first key fact about noble gases. The noble gases are very unreactive elements. You need to be able to explain why they're so unreactive. So let's start by looking at the first noble gas, which is helium. I'm showing you the structure of the noble gas helium here, and you can see that helium atoms have got two electrons in the first energy level. Now, remember that this energy level can hold a maximum of two electrons, so this energy level is full. Atoms are stable when they've got a full outer energy level, so you can see that helium atoms are stable. In other words, they will not react. This shows the structure of the noble gas neon. Neon's got 10 electrons. There are two electrons in the first energy level, and there are eight electrons in the second energy level. Remember that the second energy level can hold a maximum of eight electrons, so you can see that in neon, this energy level is full. So because neon has a full outer energy level, it's an unreactive element. Here's the structure of the noble gas argon. Again, you can see that argon has got eight electrons in its outer energy level. So again, because it's got a full outer energy level, argon is unreactive. So here's the second key fact about group zero noble gases. All the noble gases have a full outer energy level, and that's why they're unreactive. Okay, let's finish now by looking at the boiling point of the group zero noble gases. I'm showing you them here. Notice that all of the noble gases have got boiling points lower than room temperature, and that makes sense as they're all gases. Now, as you can see, the boiling point of the noble gases increase as the relative atomic mass increases. In other words, going down group zero. So helium, with a relative atomic mass of four, has the lowest boiling point, and radon, with a relative atomic mass of 222, has the highest. You will find plenty of questions on the group zero noble gases in my revision workbook, which you can get by clicking on the link above. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to describe the electronic structure of the group zero noble gases. You should then be able to explain why group zero elements are so unreactive and then describe how the boiling points of the group zero elements vary down the group.